राहुल राय थी ओके ठीक है जी अब खाना खा लेते हैं रोटी शोटी ठीक है और शूटिंग के लिए तैयारी कर ले दस तारीख को शूटिंग है मैं टाइमिंग कम्युनिकेट हाँ जी टाइमिंग कम्युनिकेट कर दूंगा मगर आप दिन पकड़ के चलोगे पूरा दिन लगने वाला Why did you know one in four women in Australia suffer from domestic and family violence? And also, the worldwide statistics claims that uh, one in three women, you know, worldwide suffer are victims of domestic violence. We also looked up uh, statistics for India, and it was not very encouraging. About thirty-two percent women uh, were complaining about domestic and family violence, and these are the official numbers uh, that you know the statisticians. or the record is arrive at because of the formal complaints that are made talk about issues that are not being reported or talk about issues that are brushed brushed aside you know under the carpet so over last 4 years uh, euphony films uh, has worked with various organizations including the government and uh, not for profit organizations and has done work uh, within the domestic violence awareness space men's mental health space uh, family violence prevention space and uh, this year 2024 will be no different we continue to pledge our commitment and doing some more work within this space today's round table is really you know meeting um, our uh, very uh, wonderful actors uh, that have worked with us previously uh, in our previous films over the last 3 and 4 years and i take great pride that uh, we have been associated uh, you know continuously for last 4 years and i've worked on variety of topics variety of genre uh, within uh, the performing arts space but today we will specifically talk about the domestic violence films that we were part of okay so allow me to introduce you to or or rather take the spotlight to suman mathur ji uh, a veteran film and theater practitioner living in sydney and it's it's my pleasure and my honor to have her in the round table along with my two wonderful actors couple munish arora and preeti arora i'll come back and talk more about preeti arora and munish arora shortly but spotlight first to suman ji suman ji welcome to round table thank you pankaj thank you you of ne films so i've been a teacher and an educator for many many years in sydney Uh, lately, I've been pursuing other interests, including music, theatre, and supporting people uh, within my community. I think it's my time to give, um, and my passion for acting has uh, got me um, roles in both theatre and short films. I'm grateful for the opportunity I've had in working under some fabulous directors in Sydney. Thank you, Subhanshi. uh and lovely to learn more about you uh you know on the education front side so what got you into uh working you know within the creative space being a teacher of course you're creative and that's why you could teach well but what got you really you know into performing arts and performing space well um my speciality in teaching was uh using drama techniques in classroom i specialized in that so i'd been coaching students from times in memorial about um you know um role playing you know slipping into other uh, people's shoes and those kind of things so um that it had been a part of my life for a very long time so when so i finished work i i slid into uh theater and film space quite easily Beautiful, Suman Ji. And since how long have you been performing live in front of a live audience or why? Uh, I've been doing it off and on, but mainly for for the community. We've had a um, uh, lot of community uh, plays, uh, say around Diwali or holy times, your know, special occasions. But I really only took it up seriously after I took early retirement. Beautiful. Thank you, Suman Ji. Thank you for. Uh, sharing more about your personal life and also you know how you started your creative creative journey here in sydney okay so moving the spotlight to another lady here in our round table preeti arora um talking about preeti uh, preeti and i or preeti and euphony films associates i think back maybe 
uh, we have worked together maybe more than a year now uh, on a few subjects together. And Preeti probably is a chance actor, right? Uh, Preeti, if I may, if I may say that, because I have never, I had never seen her perform before. But I happened to notice some natural nuances in Preeti, and I actually encouraged her to perform an audition for a film that uh, was in the making within the domestic violence space. Now, okay, so <laughs> I can go on and on, but over to Preeti. Hi, everyone. I am Preeti Arora. I have I'm been a software engineer by profession. I am. And for the acting thing, yeah, it was a chance which Pankaj gave me with a, a very strong uh, subject, which was again relate uh, for the audience, like it was for the mental health. So I got a chance, a small part, a supporting actor in one of the, his projects. But it was very powerful because for like, I'm not a professional actor, but it gave me more scope to show my skills in that part. And it was a very strong topic as uh, on the topic of mental health. So yeah, I'm very thankful to Youth Mission to give me this opportunity. And again, we are connecting on another topic, which is called domestic violence. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you, Preeti, uh, for uh, introducing yourself only. Um, so that chance encounter of uh, casting Preeti in a support room was really, uh, we needed a, a, a female, uh, you know, fitment uh, for Munish's character in that film. And uh, we just requested Preeti to be part of that, you know, ensemble cast. And that is how Preeti's acting debut happened in that film. But when we saw her perform in front of the cameras, she was a natural. So I give a lot of credit to Munish. I think Munish over the period of time of knowing Preeti has actually either coached, mentored Preeti, or maybe, you know, this is a very innate thing, very innate talent within all Indians, uh, you know, from the subcontinent who watch a lot of Bollywood films, who watch a lot of other regional cinema and actually very natural at it. So Munish, introduce yourself and talk more about the opportunities together. Yeah, thank you, Pankaj, and thank you, Yukani Films, for making me a like a core member of the team. So I am Munish Roda, Dosto, and uh, an artist. And I have worked in a number of community-based projects and short movies and uh, um, advertisements as well. And apart from uh, that, I am an IT professional, and I love to do gym. Uh, I love to listen to music. So I have a couple of more hobbies. So yeah. And how I connected with Yufani Films is, is like uh, I met him, uh, I met Pankaj uh, in 2019. And from there, we are sharing a bond of four and a half years, I believe. And in that era, we have uh, we have done so many projects together. And and I thanks to Pankaj especially for giving me opportunity to work with him and because he is very professional in all the work he does. So, uh, yeah, that's me. Thank you, Unish. Okay, enough of uh, talking about me. Let's talk about <laughs> the projects. But uh, thank you for all your uh, kind words. Um, so coming back to Sumanji. Sumanji, uh, we first associated with two films that we did for New South Wales Police, uh, creating awareness within the dowry, within dowry abuse related domestic violence. Do you want to talk about your part and also about that topic as a whole. What, what are your key takeaways? Uh, okay, so around um, early COVID days, uh, the highlight for me was working on this New South Wales Police funded film on demands for dowry causing family violence. So this was an unknown dimension for the police force um, who were already aware of and actually actively pursuing domestic violence as a scourge across communities. But this was a new aspect, the uh, dowry playing a role in it. Uh, the fact that dowry demands can be made both in India as well as Australia was an eye opener for many in our community. They never thought that it happened here. So I played the Aussie victim um, of a demand for dowry. And the film shows, you know, how helplessness can be turned around by community coming to the aid. Um, so um, 
yeah, so it was a powerful film showing that even the educated people can be uh, sucked into this vortex of dowry demands and uh, uh, and people are stuck because it's it's your kids involved and and you want the best for your kids can you can you talk about the experience of how you went about preparing for that role right the the first thing is uh, is the skeletal script that's given to you or the outline of the story and with that you try to to find examples in real life and um uh, fortunately having been in australia for so many years i was aware of certain cases where dowry demands had been made um from um australian citizens uh, so that that was the first thing but the flu fluidity of these scripts was was a real good thing uh because we had as actors we were able to bring our experience to the script and we um and th this this was a really good thing it was evolving the script was sort of evolving with us and as we sank deeper and deeper into the role the the expressions just came naturally because um you, you just become part of the character basically uh, and you try to put yourself in the shoes of of the victim for example but you also empathize with the perpetrator you know what's causing um the the angst or the um the violence so that that was um part of the whole thing you know like how the the perpetrator was sucked in through family politics into uh, being um, the perpetrator even though on on his own it was all good yeah yeah coming to munish munish you and i have worked for more than 4 years as you also summarized and we have done variety of uh, stories together sometimes entertaining and a few times uh, very intense uh, you know for creating awareness uh, with domestic violence and family violence space you and i have worked uh, on again two films for new south wales police migrant right and migrant right to be precise i think one film for new south wales police and also uh, zindagi dobara with harman foundation men's mental health mental armor with harman foundation uh, most of i think all these three stories i mean one story has shown you in a very negative light where you actually played the monster right in that film vis a vis sendri dobara where you played the character of a of a uh, you know uh, somebody to represent male mental health yep. issues two contrasting roles you have played and you have played them with i mean you have played those two roles beautifully so first talk about the monstrous role that you did for in migrant bride what was your preparation like and what were your key takeaways uh not from that character but as a person and then yep. come back to zindagi dobara and talk about the other aspect yes yeah guys uh, i have worked in a dowry project which which is called uh, migrant bride uh, with yupen films uh, where i was uh, one actually who abused my wife uh, which even in my dreams i would never ever have done that <laughs> so, yeah so the movie is actually uh, i'll just explain a little bit on the dowry thing like what it is so the movie is actually based on south asian traditional marriage where dowry is must in some communities people who don't know uh, what dowry is uh, so i'll just give a little bit thing on this one uh, it's it's actually a long standing cultural practice which the bride family provides gifts or wealth to the groom's family upon marriage and they call it as a good omen but that's actually a uh, a dowry and it often uh, leads to financial burdens and inequalities and despite the legal efforts to uh, curb the dowry related issues it continues to persist in some communities and uh, yeah so this is how it is and there are government which uh, like in the groups uh, they raise awareness and enforces law to eradicate this one but but uh, still the work is in progress and it will take a while i believe uh, due to unavailability of the resources and that's we come as an artist where we teach people by depicting the behavior so the same thing we have done in the dowry project so 
so I was like a monster in this movie where I abused my wife because I was asking money uh, from my my wife family, and if when I wasn't getting it, so I tried to beat her up kind of thing. So I did all those monster things in the movie. Yeah. So that was a, a, a very a big ex, big experience for me because I have never done that role in my life earlier, yeah. and. It taught me something like as a human, like when you are a male person, because dowry come in, come in picture when you are actually a male and other is like you are actually the, the guy who is going to take the money from uh, bride's family. So I learned one thing like uh, I never supported this thing. I never supported any dowry thing uh, because I know uh, if you are a, a real, real human, you are a real man. So you will go and earn the money on yourself, not asking money to the bride family. So that's kind of personality I, I have. But I did that because I thought people should be aware of these things. And being being people over here in Australia, uh, some people don't know, like like uh, people over here who belongs to the Australian Australian country, uh, so they don't know. So in order to teach those people, like what kind of violences be, uh, a human can do uh, when they don't have this dowry thing, so we have tried to uh, you know uh, uh, ex uh, explain those things how it happens. So that was my project with the. Uh, uh, migrant bride actually so yeah thank you so yeah as you rightly mentioned that uh, creating that awareness and educating people and sometimes these also act as refreshers uh, we used to have cheat sheets back in the day when you know preparing for examinations and these sheets these cheat sheets were really ready reckoners for remembering a few things just before the final exam right so um reminding people we are these films stories plays uh, performances is very important because it keeps the balances in check and also continuously in a 360 degree format educates yeah. people of what is the right behavior and what is the wrong behavior so thank you for talking more about it i just tried with one more thing over here yeah. uh now it doesn't mean like uh it's a, it's a money thing and it actually turns out to violence as well. Like when you the family is not able to give the money, then uh, it becomes a violence because you keep uh, torturing the girl, and it actually manifests all kind of uh, abuses like uh, physical, you can say emotional, you can say psychological. It's financial as well. So it becomes a violence after after a while when certain conditions are not met from the uh, men's family point of view. So yeah. Thank you, Manish. So. Let me remind to our viewers and audience that dowry per se is not a bad thing. Dowry abuse is what we are talking about, which, you know, one of the causes of domestic violence and family violence and unjust behavior or inequality, as Munish mentioned before. Okay, so we'll rotate the spotlight, Munish, and we will talk more about your role as a male victim, a contrast role in Zindagi Dubara. But coming to Preeti, Preeti played a very important, uh, pivotal, supportive role in Zindagi Dobara, where she was the um, she was the female support who identified the symptoms of uh, male male depression in Munisha's character in the, in the film Zindagi Dobara that was uh, produced by Hamlet Foundation and New Film Films together. So Preeti, that was your first very challenging role. Okay, you did. You, you did a cameo, right? No, so Zindagi Dubara was your first film, right? With with us? Yeah. Okay. So talk about how you prepared for that role. What was the brief you received? How did you approach your part? And then talk in a very on a very lighter note, also talk about the contrasting role that you did in audition call. Pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay, to start with the uh, uh, project Zindagi Dubara, which was mainly focused on the second part mainly was focused on mental health of men which uh, is the which uh, as an audience or as a viewer we know about that there are few things which are also stressful for a men because in our community i think uh, in every community it, there has, it has not been said but it is very evident that men have, are thought of a strength the pillar of a family who have their own responsibilities defined. If there is some responsibility defined for women, that is similar thing is happening for men as well, which gives them stress in one or the other ways. 
so when they are not able to fulfill the dreams of their family or they are not able to provide that uh, strength they go through many things so in the i mean the movie zindagi dobara we were focused on that part so we were uh, we, as a director the youth uh, the youth ni film uh, was has tried to depict all those aspects and my role was a, a fiance of a man who was going through such kind of depression because he had lost his job and he was not able to fulfill the dreams which her partner his partner was seeking when they were going to get married and he was not able to fulfill those dreams so he was having that kind of stress so uh, yeah it was a very crucial role for me i would say as a because the person who is going through such depression yeah definitely he is a victim uh, or he is uh, experiencing those things but as a supporting role that person has to give uh, more than 100 percent so that uh, it would it would give, encourage the person so yeah i try to justify that role because there was a similar thing have, which i had experienced during the covid thing so regarding my job so uh, so it was kind of relatable also and i can uh, i was not playing the uh, main role who suffered that uh, job uh, loss loss of job during the covid time but yeah as a strength, i knew how the person might be going through in that situation so i tried to justify my role by giving that kind of support so yeah i would say yeah experience really helped in that term so i tried to yeah i i tried to showcase that support which i would be expecting from my bad, uh, uh, partner i i got that time also i would say so yeah, that was my homework from my side i would say for that role and and another topic which we are going to work on so the another one was uh, the another role which I, it was kindly opposite totally opposite to the one which i played in uh, zindagi dobara so in audition call it was a comedy dramedy comedy uh, role for me i was an aspiring actor which i would say i am in a real life as well but yeah sometimes the situations may uh, become so comical as well when you are trying to audition so that was uh, my experience in that role and it was really uh, i would say fun for me because i was not real to be very honest i was not acting it was the situations which i was uh, experiencing through those uh, uh, those in that script so yep that was all these two were the roles which i played thank you preeti okay so last 6 uh, minutes of our round table really to finish this so i'll rotate the spotlight back to suman ji suman ji what are your uh, key takeaways or what do you want to say to people who are watching this video or listening to us via a podcast well uh, i'd like to talk about um, domestic violence prevention um i think um, through the medium of um, these films uh, and um, discussions around it like the round table 1 2 we we need to grow uh, understand and grow awareness of issues like uh power and control and deep seated insecurities that people suffer from and um learned behaviors from past experiences um uh, or upbringing in a violent environment um there are mental health issues as well including the ones with substance abuse um caused by substance abuse uh none of them excuses abusive behavior they all things happening but understanding them can help inform interventions and support for both parties the victim and the perpetrator and i think through these films a lot of resources have been created so not just the highlight of the issues but resolutions or um the steps forward have been suggested which is a really good thing in my opinion Thank you, Subhanji, for those precious words. Munish, do you want to talk about very quickly about your role in uh, Zindagi Dubara as a male male victim, and what do you, how do you see male depression, or how do you see male domestic violence? Uh, so basically, I will say uh, 
ये अपनी जो सोसाइटी का स्टीरियोटाइप है ना कि यार मैन जो होते हैं जो जो आदमी होते हैं दे हैव टू बी स्ट्रॉन्ग ऑल द टाइम सो बिकॉज आई हैव बीन टोट लाइक दिस कि आदमी लोग रोते नहीं हैं उनको लाइक like, uh, वो दिखाते नहीं है टेंशन वगैरह तो तुम्हें भी दिखाने चाहिए सो वी नीड टू ब्रेक दिस स्टीरोटाइप थिंग एंड इफ यू आर फीलिंग लाइक लाइक यू आर इन डिप्रेशन और नॉट फीलिंग गुड यू जस्ट नीड टू टॉक टू सम वन एटलीस्ट सो so, so, होता क्या है कि हम अपने अंदर एक ना समस्याओं का जाल बिछा लेते हैं एंड वी डोंट टॉक अबाउट दिस थिंग तो तुम्हारे पास कोई ऐसा इंसान है जिस जिससे आप बात कर सको और टेल दम कि भाई ये ये प्रॉब्लम है तो आधी प्रॉब्लम तो बात करने से सुलझ जाती है एंड देन वी फील यार कि ये तो बड़ा ड्रामा किया होता है अपने अंदर कि हाँ यार कि इतना बड़ा प्रॉब्लम है क्योंकि हम अंदर ही सोचते रहते हैं एंड देन पीपल बिकम सिक एंड जो मेंटल जो एक बार बंदा सिक हो जाता है ना तो जो फिजिकल हुआ होता है वो फिर भी बेटर हो जाता है बाद में बट जो मेंटली सिक हो जाता है ना बिकॉज ऑफ दीज थिंग्स इट रो इंज लाइफ ऑफ अ पर्सन सो आई गेस वी वी नीड टू टॉक अबाउट दिस थिंग वी नीड टू गिव अवेयर वी नीड टू प्रोवाइड अवेयरनेस with uh, doing such kind of uh, short movies of any project where we can show okay this thing also happens so that's okay so if you are crying or if you are sharing your feeling it doesn't mean you are weak at least you have the courage to speak about it so that is a key key, key take away from my side if you are watching our movies so you need to feel like we are secure in wherever wherever we are because there are certain uh, like for uh, for these kind of things you have certain uh, institutes here in australia itself like uh there is domestic violence for nsw or uh, it's a group it's like a umbrella where there are certain institute under it who can help you out like area under respect side there are legal uh, authorities as well where you can go and talk about these things so they will definitely help you out so thank you that- okay so in uh, just uh, conscious of the time um in few words i'll each one of us okay in few words any message for aspiring storytellers or aspiring actors suman ji first you um i i personally feel that there there is a space for all sorts of stories personally i connect more to social uh, agendas social films but i can relate to uh, you know comedies and others as well the main thing is reading the script really well understanding the issues um, that the film is trying to cover even with comedy there there are issues <laughs> so um just being um um uh, and internalizing the role doing your um, research around not just your character but the character of others involved in your storytelling so um that's in brief what i would suggest and working closely with your director and understanding the vision of the director the vision of uh, the people who might be funding it uh, and uh, what the big purpose is behind storytelling through short films i think um, that's important for upcoming um, actors two things thank understanding the script sliding into the role thank you suman ji yes priti what are your views um i would like to add like suman ji said ki ha of course uh, jaise hum as a director as an actor hum ap- apni taraf se community ko ye bhi ek margin se hum unko showcase kar sakte hain ki jaise hum uh, hum apne acting ke through ya apne concepts ke through unke andar kyunki ye se aise terms hai jo everyone knows definitely knows but they are not able to identify like for example we have few red flags which we know which is wrong but still we are like okay matlab अगर हम ऐसी कुछ चीजें देखते भी हैं वी ट्राई टू अवॉइड की ठीक है कोई बात नहीं फॉर दैट सिचुएशन वी कैन अवॉइड इट बट थ्रू आवर जस्ट फ्रॉम द शॉर्ट मूवीज विच वी आर वर्किंग ऑन और देर आर एनी स्क्रिप्ट लाइक दैट वी कैन शो केस एंड मेक अवेयरनेस द पीपल दैट आप इग्नोर करते हो बट कीप अ नोट ऑफ दीज थिंग्स विच कैन इंक्रीज एंड कैन क्रिएट सच डोमेस्टिक वायलेंसेज और एनी अदर मेंटल टॉपिक्स So yeah, we need how we need to avoid it or how we need to take a note of these things. And what is your yeah. message to aspiring actors, Priti? Aspiring? I'm. 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 I'm.
कुछ नॉलेजेबल ही हो क्योंकि इंडस्ट्री एक ऐसी चीज है जो एंटरटेनमेंट के पर्पज से भी देखी जाती है एंड इट्स गुड इफ यू कैन लर्न समथिंग फ्रॉम इट तो यू नीड टू डू अ बेटर होमवर्क आई वुड से ताकि आप खुद को पहले क्या खुद को कन्विंस करना दैट फॉर दैट पार्ट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट तभी आप सामने वाले को भी कन्विंस कर सकते हो उस कैरेक्टर को लेकर और उस कॉन्सेप्ट को लेकर so uh, so sumanji you you were talking about zindagi and uh, yeah so please uh, enrich us about your experience on zindagi um zindagi was made uh, during covid times highlighting the issues of um, women's mental health um it was um, i think the key take away for me from that role was that um the more able in the community can take um, the less able out of darkness into light and i think that's what the purpose of most of the short films are done with you has been you know like people who are ignorant we we are able to um, shed some light and we are able to show them the light of knowledge so that that was an important thing um um so um but in in terms of winding up you, we were talking about um what would you say to to people um who are aspiring to be actors and i think um uh, i missed um the key point it is your uh, commitment to to the project people need to to really make time people have busy time a uh, busy lives they may have work they may have family but the director requires commitment and punctuality so these are important um things to keep in mind because when it's a cast the, uh, everybody's availability is what decides the um the uh, the rehearsals um that's all i have to say um thank you suman ji yeah i think uh, as a director um and also as uh, a technician dabbling into multiple hats in creating these films i think one of the most important aspect or maybe or rather two most important aspects that we look at collectively as a team is that the person who is coming on board is uh, committed to the project and uh, and they are punctual you know respecting everybody's time and when mm-hmm. punctuality goes as far as you know reading the script knowing their aspects their bits also you know the respective bits of other important roles or important characters in the film um coming on rehearsals on time um you know doing those role plays and also contributing collaboratively to the project with regards to how they can better the or enhance the audience you know uh, reception of the film once it is out so cannot over emphasize on these factors uh, thank you suman ji for uh, sharing your bit okay munish coming back to you your message for uh, aspirants of acting as in acting aspirants and also any any message you want to give to people to become more aware about domestic violence so two questions in one go for it so pehle to main ye kehna chahunga ki agar aapko sahi mein acting ka keeda hai like you love to play character roles so just go for it never think like ye hoga ki nahi hoga wo hoga ki nahi hoga ye selection hoga ki nahi hoga wo hoga ki nahi hoga just go with your guts and i i what i feel and what i believe like when you uh, live that vibe like achhi vibe hai ki ha mujhe ye karna hai to universe will put uh, energy into that vibe and it will make it happen and uh, for jo jo bhi log shuru karna chahte hain acting uh, sorry acting and they should approach directors like like you and there are some other organizations as well which actually take fresh talent and from where they can go forward and they should never uh, feel that they will face the challenge of course they will face the challenge on the initial stages but there is actually a path to your journey and from journey to your destination so take every step as a as a new challenge uh, for for your for, for your this career and uh, that's only my message i have for the aspiring actors who who would love to you know uh, love to see themselves as an actor or a, a role a role play kind of guy 
so yeah and the some points on domestic violence yeah so it's never too late to talk about it like whenever you feel whenever you see people for example like if you are living in a house and there's another house next to your one and if you if you see like there are continuous fight happening every day you can just go and talk in case you can go and if it uh, so basically what you can do is just observe these things and uh, just see if they need help or something or eventually there are other authorities as well where you can inform them okay this thing is happening because sometimes what happen is like uh, log darte hain ki agar hum ye bahar batayenge to it might harm our family but they don't think ki aisa na karne se wo apni personal life aur apni dimagi halat ko kharab kar rahe hain so that are the points i have to say to like people who, to make them uh, aware that the domestic violence what it is and how we can prevent it so yeah thank you munish uh, i have to summarize munish's journey i think he's probably worked in far greater number of short films in sydney than maybe any other actor you know with the hindi or punjabi uh, yeah. language i think munish has and munish has played variety of roles uh, from start, starting from gray shades to positive ones and also as victim um and very recently he floored everyone with his performance as a comic comic actor in audition call if you have not watched any of uh, these films please go check out uh, my youtube channel uh, you know looking up these respective actors uh, suman mathur ji hashtag suman mathur ji hashtag priti arora hashtag munish arora and you can watch these films also there are other productions uh, work that is again out on socials please definitely go check out the body of work uh and and i hope uh, you know after watching their work you will also feel inspired uh, taking a leap within the creative space suman ji's role in zindagi uh, you know the the female mental health film was screened to a live audience and it was received with a roar of you know applause Uh, and likewise zindagi dobara was screened to a packed uh, you know roughly about 400 people watched it live on a big screen and uh, the energy is still fresh in my memory and i feel so incredibly proud of being part of the project and i feel so wonderfully i feel so wonderful humbled and and honored that uh, these wonderful people are you know part of my productions and we work together and uh, you can also see the commitment uh, we have been part of each other's lives since last four years and worked in variety of variety of films together and the commitment in 2024 is even um, you know it's still there and still still fresh so talking about which uh, there are two upcoming short films that we will be making in 2024 one will be creating awareness within the family violence prevention space and the other topic is uh, around missing children issues in australia in today's round table i deliberately want to keep it here keep it at this at the surface level because these topics are still being fleshed out uh, the scripts are still being fleshed out um, writer of zindagi zindagi dobara um, and my other films mamta is uh, also writing these films and uh, i'm also playing a small part in facilitating a writing experience and we are currently researching and uh, coming up with a screenplay very soon i should be able to you know share some more uh, insights about these projects however just to let you know that this project uh, will be our first two short films that we'll be making in 2024 and this is fully endorsed by the black town council so again my deepest gratitude to the respected mayor of black town council and everybody who has reposed their faith in my production house beautiful films okay so <laughs> thank you well and, done uh, thank you <laughs> thank you so much ji so you would like to yeah yeah so just before we uh, because we have the luxury of extra time just before we wrap up this round table do we have anything more to add Yeah, I would love to say like thanks to Yufni Films, thanks to Pankaj Bhai, and thanks to Mamta and those little, those two little kids who have always work with you on your production house, and thanks for seeing seeing an artist in me and always believing in me and making me a like a very integral part of your team, and I would always appreciate that thing and 
that that's that's I don't know what to say <laughs> because I am speechless like when I when I talk about you so I try to find words but still like feelings are greater than the words I, I believe so yeah thanks thank you Munish I feel I feel that love and I reciprocate that love as well thank you yes Preeti Sumanji anybody you want to say anything before we wrap up uh, I fully endorse Munish's views you work so hard and you work so well together as a family and uh, there's your elder one is so much on board and her skill level i'm sure is going up rapidly and mamta she likes to take a back seat your better half likes to take the back seat but uh she i know she has a strength behind you as well so all the best to you you fine films and your family and uh, just so so loving being a part of your fine projects thank you so much priti any any kind words or... yeah i would just like to add one thing first of all congratulations to you and your team and second thing is as part of the, these projects we have been trying to uh, make people aware about these topics but there has been few projects which has been quite fun like we did the audition call so yeah it's been a great experience in terms of learning as well as having fun so thank you so much for the experiences and congratulations to you thank you preeti okay so not taking away the seriousness of the issue uh, with regards to dv awareness we do have more announcements to make uh, as times come and uh, audition call part 2 is one of those announcements that will be starting production very soon sometime in march april and uh, there are some other comedy short horrors that uh, we have envisioned and will be developing further but coming back to the topic just before i wrap up this video um dv is a serious issue domestic violence and family violence and uh, it's very disheartening very heartbreaking to learn that as um as we are becoming more educated uh, the percentage doesn't seem to you know come Uh, doesn't seem to decrease of domestic violence victims it has been steadily on the it has been steadily on the rise and for many years now globally 32% of the victims of domestic violence are women and uh, also one in four women in australia have complained about domestic violence again these are all reported facts we don't know what is the actual number if we were to you know take into account uh, issues that are not being reported uh, one in nine men you know suffer from domestic violence uh, very disheartening again because as a culture as a society we are becoming educated uh, we are embracing change uh, we are teaching probably the right values to our kids our children but uh, is it but probably something is not being done enough or not being done right also as manish spoke about uh, the bystanding issue i think it's it was a very relevant point we should not be acting as bystanders if we are spotting any domestic violence uh, scenario issues uh, we should extend help uh, in whatever shape or form we can and also make the victims aware of their rights also just just be aware that there are organizations in this beautiful country that is offering you help so seek for those help and yeah and also as a friend or a well wisher or within your network if you are aware of any such scenarios or issues of domestic violence please speak up and say no to domestic violence so that would be it uh, thank you suman ji thank you preeti and thank you munish for your time it was lovely to have a chat and i'm i'm so thrilled for doing this first round table of 2024 with my beautiful actors and artists that that have worked with us for last four years continuously so thank you thank you for coming on thank you thank you peering is Thank you. you. Okay. So this is Pankaj signing out. Till the next day. Bye bye.